inspire me a lot. And it has to let me think about the way people are connected. The problem is that, while I have already lost contact with most of my early friends, my grandpa has been in touch with his former pen pals for half a century. Why is that? I began to ask myself, and I didn't have any clue until I read the book, 84, Charing Cross Road. It is about a 20-year transatlantic friendship recorded by Helen and Frank through letters. Even though the two of them never saw each other until they died, the letters become a link that made them understand each other fast and understand each other in the world. The story happened in 1949 when my grandpa was young. At that time, transportation was not convenient and science and technology were not as developed as today. The major way people connect with each other was writing letters. Usually, a letter would be received only one week after it was sent. Therefore, people tended to handwrite their letters in well-chosen words to express their true feelings and deep meaning, so that the emotions and care could be felt and seen by the receivers. That's why such a piece of flimsy piece of paper could mean much, much more than it looks. But as a teenager now, I prefer to use WeChat or make a video call in order to communicate with my friends because this is absolutely faster than sending a letter or making a phone call. One day, when I was scrolling through my chat notes with a friend, I noticed that even though we have been chat almost every day for a whole month, our chat content is so meaningless. It usually goes like, oh gosh, you have to see this. What? This blogger, he's so handsome. Or, can I ask you a question? Okay, who's the prettiest girl in the world? Which is so boring, so meaningless, and so redundant. And that drove me to think about the connection between people. The development of the internet and stuff is indeed improved the efficiency of human communication, and it has also broken the limit of space and shortened the distance between humans. But on the other hand, Everyone is somehow in a pursuit of a faster pace of life, and everything seemed to be designed for this purpose. So it's hard to experience the sadness of missing someone far from us and the suffering of waiting for a reply. And finally, we have forgotten how to express our proper sentiments. This, I suppose, is how human connection become as strange as now. But there is still something that needs us to be reminded of. Only love and careness can make the world warmer and make us human. So, yes, we're sometimes busy for a good reason, but if you can, why not slow down a bit and carefully fill and wash the real life around you? Just like the poem says, days were slower in the past. Carriage, horse, and mills didn't reach so fast. Life afforded you to love only one. When we are hurrying for the ultimate goal of life, we're actually ignoring the life behind us. Thank you.